It seems to me that there are three things that we can do with our time. Spend it, invest it, or waste it. In practice, we all do some of each of those. The trick, though, is getting the mix right. I mean, who wants to waste their life? Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond, and welcome again to Fresh. If you could know how long you have left to live on this earth, would you want to know? Come on, if someone could tell you the number of years, months, days, hours and seconds that you have left on this earth, would you really want to know? The fact is that there is an appointed time. There is a time when your heart will stop beating, the oxygen will be gone and your brain and therefore your body will cease to function. So what are you going to do then with the precious finite time that you have left? Some people, a lot of people, in fact most people, just seem to be frittering it away on things that in the final moment simply won't matter. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 to 17. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time because the days are evil. So don't be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. So how do you choose to spend your valuable time? With wisdom or with foolishness? Are you making the most of the time that you have left here on this earth? Or are you just frittering it away? It seems to me that the wisdom that God's talking about here in this passage is discovering what He wants us to do with our lives and then heading off and doing it. So don't be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. That's God's word fresh for you today. And that wisdom is something that God wants to speak into your life to make sure that you know what his will is, to make sure that you don't end up wasting your life. And that's why I'd love to send you your fresh devotional each day. A powerful scripture verse together with some words of inspiration, hope and encouragement to help you be all that God made you to be. It's completely free. Just stop by at ChristianityWorks.com for instant access. That web address again is ChristianityWorks.com. I'll catch you next time.